Today is a huge delivery day. I can't believe how many things are already getting here. I'm pretty sure I spotted the dining room table, the entryway marble, gorgeous statement piece, the mirror. There's a lot. There's a lot getting here. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Guys. Dirty, but what I'm saying, I hope this doesn't shit like. I just got this top when I went vintage shopping, and I love it. I want more stuff like this, honestly, in my wardrobe. Like cool, vintage, but you can throw it on and look like semi-cute. I'm really glad to be giving Miami more of a second try by doing it right. I just think moving into the apartment honestly just puts such a sour taste in our mouths because everything went wrong with that place. Literally every single thing went wrong between the construction and just like furnishing that last place. Everybody wants the tea on the designer for that. And honestly, I'm not messy like that. Like, I'm not messy like that. I am a believer. If, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say it at all. And also, what does it benefit me to like sit here and spill negative tea on something like that? It is actually so funny. And when I spill the tea to my friends and people that I trust, it's so fun telling the story because it really was such a funny situation and just the whole everything with that designer on the last place, like the emails back and forth, like it got a little bit ugly, which is why I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna post about it, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like bring it into the metaverse. That's not what I'm gonna do. But when I tell the story to my friends, we die because it's actually crazy and hilarious. Anyways, I'm glad we're having a fresh start here. This feels good. This energy feels new. This just feels like amazing, beautiful, gorgeous. And I'm so glad to be putting this place together with Henny and just really bunkering down and having a place we can thrive together. I'm just honestly, I'm honestly slapping on concealer. I need to give this concealer its flowers. This, this is good. If you love skincare, like when I get ready in the mornings, especially now, I'm not really beating my face. I don't have the time. And if I'm being 100% honest, I don't really beat my face because I'm holding Rio. And if I'm holding him, I don't want to get like foundation all over his clothes. And when I do wear makeup and I do hold him, he like has foundation on him and that's not, that's not okay. So this concealer, I will load up my skincare and then you just do a couple swirls of it and it blends in like skincare. Like I feel like I am blending in an eye serum or something. This is in the shade K down. I really overdid it though with the hell. Oh my god. That's what I get for trying to show some new cool thing. I'm like, look at how good it is, and I completely 
backs of the application. You're gonna have to take my word. Honestly, it's, this is good if you use like one dot. This mirror came for the studio today. The vision for this room is I don't wanna do too much at all. Cause here's where I like to film. Here's where I like to sit down with you conversational style. Like it's not a podcast. I don't need like a set in here. I just need a comfy space where I feel like I can talk and hang out and flow. So the vision for this room is pretty simple. Now I have this huge full body thing. This vanity is just cheap Ikea. Vanities are so expensive. Oh my God, any like big piece Vanity is like 3k. So I just got this Ikea one and it works for me fine But I didn't want it to reflect in my full body Outfit pics like if I put on a hot outfit, I don't want my Ikea poking So the layout for this room has to be done in a specific way that this Ikea is not reflected in the back and the only way to do that is to put this desk right here so she will go here this is the new mirror, which is probably gonna go right here. I'm gonna take off those shelves, and then it's just gonna be a simple, huge mirror. This is from CB2. I'll link everything down below, but this is a borderless, simple, clean, big mirror. Cause for my outfit pit, like OOTG vibe, I don't want the mirror to do too much talking. I had a couple funky mirrors in my last place and they rock when they're not the primary mirror. But for like the primary OOTD one, simple. Less is more. Like honestly, that one that Ikea makes is pretty good too. I just wanted something wider, but you know the OG, OG Ikea one that literally everybody and their mother has, it's like a hundred bucks and it's borderless. Like that rocks, I'll link both. I'll link this one and the one from Ikea that's basically the same thing. I forgot how much we have in there. You can come check it out. So cute. Is that the lamp? Side lamp? Oh, this goes on the black table. Mm -hmm. This is cute. Look. Gorge. Does it have a wire? <laughs> no, it's just it. No, it has the like... Should we set this. her up? I know exactly where she goes. I don't know. That's the thing where I'm like, do we get the small things or... I think it's, maybe the small things we could do last when everything's at least in its spot. Like, as long as we have couches and everything's painted and then the big furniture pieces are in, and then I think we go there. And attack the little, yeah. That's what I think. We have the rug here. What else is this stuff? What is this? That's the wallpaper? What is that? Oh, this is like a window tray. That's the bathroom. This is for the bathroom. Is it? Yep. Oh, it looks pretty. It's you? Yep. Fab. Oh, these are the bedside pendants. Oh, they look sick. And they're so sexy. Damn, that's hot. Wow, look it's at It's like this. a burgundy. Look at this. So imagine it with a little light bulb that's like halfway sticking out right here. Low yellow dim lighting. Both of these on the side of the master bed. Oh, sick. Let me even put this back. <laughs> I want to guess. I think I know what that is. I, it's the black thing. For the, for the entryway thing. table. Yep. That we should maybe put it. I think we should put it. Just because I'm excited. Place it. Are we going to put a plant in that or what's going on? Oh, whatever you want. It can change. That's the cool thing. Wow. Wow. Gorge. There she is. I think a little bit off to the side with a little bowl right here for keys. You think off to the side? That's cool. Wait, did we ever decide to do a chair next to it? Yeah, of course. Where is it? I, yeah, I don't it. think it's here yet. Okay. When you walk into this house, there's this huge, huge, huge space. And it kind of hits you in the face. You like walk in and it's like, so I knew that I wanted it to be a moment, obviously. But at first I was thinking like, what if I do a gallery wall with different colored gold rustic frames and like cover it up and stuff like that. But honestly, this vibe, like the clean, small little table with a, with a statement piece on top of it, 
and a tiny little decorative chair. Obviously, we can load it up with like coffee table books and stuff like that. I think it's gonna be gorgeous. Like, I think it's um, Chris Jenner's house. I'm pretty sure you walk in and it's such a big space that there's just a small round table at the entrance. Yeah, like that's gonna be pretty. Um, then a chair right here. Or is it two chairs? It's just one, right? No, 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 it's one tiny chair. It's more of like a decoration, honestly. And I think whatever goes in that black thing needs to be huge. Let's show them the dining room stuff. So much came in. This, I cannot wait for it to go down because I keep hitting my head on it. This is actually indestructible material because every single person in this house has bonked their head off of this so hard. <laughs> and it has never shattered. So for the dining room, the vibes in here are a lot more grown up. <laughs> I think like, let's say the last place, right? We did like the groovy thing with this wavy table and these funky like vintage chairs. Here we want to match the house better and this house is a grown up house. And not just that, match our lives too. Yeah, like we're literally we parents. <laughs> yeah, we got a goddamn baby in here. Like, you know? Yeah. We're not kids anymore. Yeah. Grow up. Grow up, mama. Get the brown chairs. So these are the chairs for the dining table. They have this really pretty texture to them and I love the wood. It's just a beautiful finish of wood. This is, what is this called? It's like the buffet. It's like a console table, right? It's just gonna go on this wall, I think. It's like that little console that just has like the dinner napkins that you use once a year or whatever. Look at how beautiful it is. Like it's this big, thick wood. And it has a good amount of storage inside of it. I think yeah. this is where you keep, yeah, exactly, the the dining room stuff that barely gets used. So this entire room is going to be painted a light cream color. And then along the trim, we're going to do a slightly darker cream color. Do you have it? This is it. It's the paint. Roman clay. It's going to be like a light wash, but... Supposed to be super subtle, nothing crazy like this. Is it. This is it. And the reason for painting this room a light color is to just separate the space. Because, see, like here's the living room, and then now with this being painted just a slightly different cream, it's gonna make this room feel a little bit more separated, a little bit on its own. What is this? Whoa! Whoa. Wow. This is grown folks business. This is Nobu Cabo. She is beautiful. Wow. No, that's hot. That is going here, baby. In the kitchen? It's going right here. That's going to be gorgeous. Why don't you just hold it up there so we can see a preview. A sneak me. Yeah. Wow, this is a side note. We've also started to order a bunch of play mats because he's getting bigger. He's not crawling or anything yet, but he's getting to the point where he needs a bunch of play zones around the house so we can load it up with toys and he can lay and have fun because soon, I don't know actually when babies start to crawl or do any of that. He's four months old right now. So we need more of these little fun play zones all around. I felt like this was the most aesthetic option, these cream ones. I got like a couple of different vibes. But I think overall, this is cute. Anything black that you see in this house is Henny's doing. And honestly, he's right. Cause this house is so big and bright and white that when you add any type of black furniture in it, it just looks sexy. Like it adds a masculine sexiness. Look at this chair. Where's this even going? Which one? The black sexy one. I don't know where, this was one of them that it wasn't in the original concept. I was like, damn, this looks so sexy. Can we try to incorporate it somewhere? And she's like, well, it fits here. The only thing though, it was final sale. So we can't, this is like the one thing in the house that we can't return. But I think she's so sexy that it's like, it can go in different, different. I think it's hot. Can I test it out, see if it's cozy? Yeah. Whether it's real leather or not, I don't know. But it's got that like black, like old school, mid-century modern, like sexy feel. You know what I'm saying? back when things were sexy. He's bringing sexy back. Yeah. Now everything's supposed to be like farmhouse and cute. Like things aren't things Yeah, sexy. things aren't like hot like that. Yeah. Things are more like cute. Hi, Pinky, Pinky, Pinky. <laughs> oh, 
Why is he just staring at me like that? Hello? Lua is very gentle with him. But the one thing that I have to always keep my eye on is if she's licking his face. Momo. I feel bad because dogs, like, I feel like that's what dogs do. To baby dogs, they, like, lick them. So she thinks she's doing something good. And I feel bad when I have to stop her, but she can't lick your face. <laughs> Hi, my pinky pink. Hi, my pinky. Uh-oh, you're going to throw up. Oh, don't pull her hair. Don't pull her hair. That's another thing. I'm glad she's... She is super good with him because he will pull her hair. And she understands. Like, she doesn't get mad or anything. Like, she understands that it's a baby. It's a baby. Uh-oh, spaghetti. Look at these chunky thighs. <laughs> Your thighs are so big and chunky. A A girl? Hello? Oh, the curtains. I don't like these pottery barn curtains. I feel like they're gonna be good. But let's wait till I put them on, I guess. Wow, these are nice and huge. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Can you do it? Gorgeous! These are for the master bath. Master bathroom? Do we have to find appropriately sized cameras? Up here. Oh my god, when this set is built, it already is. It's so cool. It's a cool angle, babe. Is it? It's a sick angle. It's a nice table, huh? It's gorgeous. Because that's the thing, it's mid century modern vibe, but it's still fun to look at, right? But it's super grown up. Does it work? Is it a little too yellow? No, the crazy light here is looks yellow. And also that's the center of the room, so we should put the table under that. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Just make sure I don't hit. That's my man. You're good. Wow, that corner feels so much more aggressive. So right, do you want to put this here now? Yeah. Why would be strong as hell? God damn it, baby. Because it's a squat. Look at your shoulders, it looks so thick. No, no, no. Let's get this one to move out. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wait, oh, this should be in the middle here. Alright, that's relatively. Okay. Finished. Ooh, okay. Seeing even the paint in this room just makes me so excited for this house. This is one coat. It's gonna be two coats. But does this not just feel so grown up and like still cool, but grown? I'm obsessed. There's so many things that are about to get changed. I'm gonna see you in the next video and I'm gonna see you so soon. I'll see you so soon. Let me know how you're liking the vibe so far. I feel like, I don't know, I just have the right feeling about this vibe. Just this house is giving what it has to give in terms of lighting, in terms of space. And I feel like the furniture, like these black sexy pieces and the stuff that we have going on is playing into the Miami of it all. Because we are in Miami and I still want to keep things fun, but it feels grown up and elegant in a new way. That's my opinion, but if you hate it, I'm not that sensitive. You can rip it down below. Let me know actually, what do you think?